What's up my beautiful friends? Here we are for another weekly grocery haul and meal plan inspiration. Uh, I am here at Aldi and I honestly don't even know if I need to go. We might make a stop over at Wegmans. Uh, so guys, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're ready, let's go shopping. Alrighty, here we are. We did go to Wegmans. Um, I actually had to get more there than I thought. Aldi was even out of butter, so I had to grab some butter from Wegmans as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We'll start with our plethora of bananas here. Um, some more produce I also got from Aldi. I grabbed some more jalapenos. I always like to keep some spicy peppers around. I have some of those like um, red Thai chili peppers. But those are even more spicy than these jalapenos. Um, I find jalapenos are like the right balance of that spicy, peppery flavor. I also grabbed uh, avocado. Avocados were 99 cents this week. That's on sale considerably um, for what they've cost lately. Grabbed some lemons. Guys, I'm going to be um, working on doing a video where I do a whole day of just going through these vintage lemon recipes. I have a vintage lemon cookbook that I found, so uh, stay tuned for that. I grabbed some celery, as well as I snagged this from Wegmans, because uh, Aldi doesn't carry arugula, so I have some baby arugula. I'm gonna use that on like a pizza. Uh, this also came from Wegmans oranges. They don't sell individual oranges at Aldi either, so I only needed two, so I just grabbed two oranges from Wegmans. Uh oh, we lost our celery. Uh, moving over, I grabbed some eggs from Aldi, and you guys might be wondering what happened to my finger. Um, <laughs> I got it caught in a blender. I don't recommend that. <laughs> some This came from Wegmans. I grabbed some imitation crab meat, uh, and this is going to be in those lemon recipes. I have my facts a little wrong. I was under the impression that imitation crab meat was around a lot longer than it had been, and I didn't like the price of... Uh, the canned crab meat because it was like six dollars for half the amount that I needed So I went for the imitation crab meat, but I think we're gonna make that work regardless <laughs> Butter like I mentioned I had to grab butter from Wegmans because Aldi was all out of their um, salted butter this week They only had the unsalted so I just grabbed that at Wegmans And these came from Aldi as well my usual squeezes for my son. I don't have them all out here uh, but I just grabbed a few more of these. He's starting not to eat these anymore, so I'm kind of like leaning back. Crackers, family favorite. I grabbed these clubhouse crackers. We all eat these around here. Uh, sliding over, they had more of these for like 39 cents each, and I will keep grabbing them until they're gone. These are like big cat bars. They're like the chocolate wafer bars. They're very good. Cheese, I grabbed a few different cheeses. So I have some mild cheddar. Um, I grabbed some cream cheese as well. I have a bunch of frozen spinach in my freezer that I really want to use up. So I'm going to make like spinach artichoke dip. 
as well as some Parmesan. So these two are for the spinach artichoke dip. And what would be vintage recipes without some sort of gelatin dessert, what they called the salad back in the day. So I grabbed some um, of this gelatin because I'm going to need that for a few of those recipes. Pantry staple, I grabbed some marjoram. Uh, actually, I've never bought marjoram before, but some of these recipes used it, and I do see it in some other ones that I have. So I finally grabbed myself some marjoram. A couple other pantry staples, some sherry cooking wine. They use this a lot in the vintage recipes as well as well as some corn syrup. I don't usually stock corn syrup, but in special events such as these vintage recipes, they use corn syrup. Um, I grabbed some bread and butter pickles. As well as you can see back here, I have a bag of just the restaurant style tortilla chips. And I also grabbed a bag of the barbecue because they had a couple of the Wegmans flavors on sale. So I grabbed a bag of the barbecue chips while I was there. Sliding over a bit, another pantry staple, sugar. I used up all my sugar. I've had a lot of birthday parties and events lately, so I've been going through sugar really fast. So I grabbed another one to restock, as well as these sugar wafers. Okay, then we also have some beans. I grabbed some black beans, uh, and I also grabbed these mild chili beans. And I'm going to be making some just like um, freezer burritos that I can make up ahead of time, throw them in the freezer, my husband can take them to work. So we're gonna do like bean and cheese burritos. I also grabbed a couple cans of skipjack tuna just so we had some in stock. And here's the tortillas. These are the tortillas I'm going to do those bean and cheese burritos in. I also grabbed some more sandwich bread for my son, the 100% whole wheat. Sorry, it's upside down. Eh, there we go. Better. And then from um, Wegmans, their bakery, I grabbed this lovely little pumper nickel loaf here. Nice, fresh. Okay, a few more things that we have. Uh, the artichoke, I mentioned spinach artichoke dip, so I grabbed some of these quartered marinated artichokes from Aldi, as well as some graham crackers. These are for my son. Also, I need them for a recipe in the lemon cookbook. Uh, you can see here we grabbed some more of the whole milk Greek yogurt from Aldi. And then I grabbed uh, this Madagascar vanilla pint of ice cream from Wegmans. I'm going to make uh, tea floats. You've heard of like root beer floats and things. Uh, there's a recipe for tea floats in that lemon cookbook, so I actually was very intrigued by it. That's going to be one of the ones we do. All right, a couple more things that I grabbed from Aldi. Did I mention pecans? I grabbed some pecans. And I also needed, I've been buying the small candles a lot, but I, I realized that I don't like have any more of these big candles, so I grabbed the Mountain Air. This is a really fresh scent, it's very nice. And then they also saw this for anybody who has a business, runs a business, works for a business, or even just works at home as a housewife or mother. Um, these are super adorable. They have the little clipboard on the front here as well as like to-do lists. Some had lined paper, some didn't, but I just thought this was super cute. It's got a little pocket there that I can't really get to, but yeah, guys, if you need <laughs> something to help keep you organized, I thought that was really nice. Okay, and then the last thing that I ended up snagging from Aldi, I saw this in their Aldi find section, um, they had it on sale. It was literally the last one. I've been eyeing this for weeks now since they came out. It is this like party uh, sampler of jams. Trying to straighten them out for you guys. Yeah, so the strawberry mimosa, orange mimosa, sangria, and peach bellini. They're like brunch jams. I don't know. I thought they were really adorable and I'm kind of excited to try those. So... But that is it guys for this week's grocery haul. If you need some meal plan inspiration, please stick around. I have it coming for you right now. All right, here we are with this week's weekly meal plan. So for breakfast, I have been making these like oatmeal breakfast cookies. Uh, so they have, you know, um, old fashioned oats and I usually put like a fruit in them. I've made like a carrot cake one that my son actually liked that one too. They're like a healthy um, oatmeal in a cookie form. Um, we can also do fruit and yogurt. 
Then for lunches, we're keeping it simple. We can do tuna sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly. I have chicken nuggets um, with squeeze. Uh, like I said, we've been kind of starting to wean off of those. So I also have some fruit or crackers. Then for dinners, Monday I'm going to be making some tostadas. I have some leftover corn tortillas that I'm going to throw in the oven and you know crisp them up. And then I'm going to top them with things like um, refried beans or uh, I have some ground turkey in the freezer that I can use up. I also have uh, some extra chicken so I'll decide what kind of protein I'm going to use on that. But I uh, will be doing that with some maybe some like veggies. On Tuesday I'm going to do a lemon ricotta pasta. Uh, this is actually has nothing to do with uh, this lemon cookbook, um, but this was something else that I saw and that I was inspired by. So um, I'm going to make a pasta, which is a very basic uh, lemon and ricotta sauce. Wednesday, uh, I never made the biryani yet again, so I'm going to be making the chicken biryani dish on Wednesday. Thursday, uh, I'm trying a new variation of chicken salad. The chicken salad I usually make usually contains like walnuts and grapes, um, but I'm gonna try a different version. I have so many cherries. I went to a farm over the weekend and I got this big like core of cherries uh, and I don't know what to do with them. So I'm gonna throw them in with some orange and pecans, pe pecans. <laughs> I don't know how y'all say it, but um, I'm gonna try a new variation of chicken salad. Friday, I'm gonna be making a cherry goat cheese and arugula pizza. Once again, I have all those cherries and I have some leftover goat cheese. So come by with some arugula and I'm gonna make like a balsamic drizzle and uh, we'll make a little pizza. On Saturday, uh, I'm planning on going to the public market. So usually on days when I go out like that, I'm out all day and we usually end up picking up something to eat while we're out and we never um, really are that hungry for dinner. So I'm not really planning on making anything particularly for dinner that day. Uh, if anything, I can make a spinach artichoke dip. I have a lot of frozen spinach that I want to use up anyways. So um, that might be what we do on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be filming this Day of Lemon recipes. It's from this cookbook here, uh, Lively Lemon Recipes for Gourmet and Everyday Dishes. Uh, this book is dated 1967 right here, so all vintage recipes um, and some of the recipes that I'm going to be trying out from this cookbook here include uh, a lemon coconut dessert, crab gems, um, because if you know anything about like cooking in the 60s, uh, they use a lot of gelatin. Tea float, I mentioned that earlier, there's a recipe for tea floats. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying out several of these recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Sunday. Uh, so, if you guys are interested, stay tuned and I will post that video shortly. I don't know how long it's going to take me to try to edit something like that because I've never done a video like this before. Um, but I think it'd be really fun to try. So, But guys, that is it for this week's grocery haul meal plan inspiration. So don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And especially if you guys want to see um, these lemon recipes come to life, stick around. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, I love you. Bye.